We don't get to watch the train All we can get is an unhappy parade of milk and Spolsky's Keating's another sorry thing the Revelations the newspaper brain We don't get to watch the train do you ever think that in a world where it seems like money is the only thing we make, when the thieves and exploiters of the world thieve and exploit it, it at first seems like nothing's gone because nothing was there in the first place? In fact, people suffer, but maybe they don't die or get hurt like in the old days. But then again, maybe they do. Maybe forever resplendent Michael Milken moving among the Hollywood starlets and Bill Clintons of the world. There's a ruined brokerage middle manager gone to rum and 900 numbers. Or for every Enron, with its wealthily defended Fifth Amendment puppets, there's an older woman, just short of Medicare, but not of cancer, and now without health insurance. Because behind the perjury, dummy corporations, offshore tax shelters, and hidden Swiss bank accounts, nothing got made. No Model T behind the Henry Ford. No three-foot-high racing tire behind the Harvey Firestone. No bank, no library, or train behind the Rockefeller. We don't get to rob the bank or sit in the library or, worst of all, watch the trains. We don't get to watch the trains. Unhappy parade of Pritzkers, Katzes, and Forties, Zansons, and other sorry things. People that manipulate income tax evasion strain. We don't get to watch the train. 150 years ago, these master thieves, master heartbreakers, were known as robber barons, and their furtive machinations would have made Houdini dizzy. For instance, Collis Huntington, Leland Stanford, Charles Crocker, and Mark Hopkins, known collectively as the Big Four, coerced, cajoled, lied, misled, stole, and otherwise shell-gamed and flim-flammed the Central Pacific Railroad into existence, as well as a tapeworm of embryo civilization and ruination that stretched from Utah to the San Francisco Bay. As the rail crews built their way eastward, 55 miles from Sacramento, they met the match just past the settlement called Illinois Town, when they faced a huge half bowl of sheer cliff called Cape Horn. Irishmen looked down and scratched their heads and turned around to the crew bosses who turned around in frustration to the Cantonese workers, called Celestials, hired one and two months earlier, literally off slow boats from China and slowly through translation were made to understand that these men proposed a solution. Using a new and wickedly wild thing called dynamite, they proposed to descend the cliffs and wicker baskets into the windy abyss above hawks and woodpeckers and bumblebees and mosquitoes over the American River, and finding a seam in the stone, plant the dynamite and rise, trailing the long stem behind them, ignoring the yells above and breathe and then light it. And the rumbling came from below and a scattering of men and spitting of stone and smoke out into the air and blast by blast a shelf was created for the track and the word celestial was heard with less derision. And a man or two or three or four was lost as the line moved on up the great ridge and then high over the pass and out over the lake and into the winter and the snow sheds they had built over Donner Lake for nothing previous has been established by the white man but death itself. The night fires blazed in the sheds and the men lived in smoke, and bitter cold and ice, and fire and snow and the rumbling now above of avalanches. And finally they walked out on a clear spring morning and they heard the pounding again and saw the towering smoke out over a cliff this time and then incredibly 7,000 feet and 50 miles away from any civilization they saw it. A locomotive and cars easily drowning out the yells and laughter and back pounding and arm punching until just past them the locomotive slowed and stopped just short of the edge of the world itself.
But we don't get to watch the trains Oh, we get it Unhappy parade of Anne Ron's Castle Banks Merrill Lynch's and other sorry things Revelations of the newspaper we don't get to watch the train We don't get to watch the train